Okay, it's been a while since I've done a video, about five months. Like I did one back in December and you know, a lot has changed since then. I guess the most obvious thing is the leaves. <laughs> there weren't any then, <laughs> well, whatever, you know, it was about winter. Um, now it's pretty much about summer here in Georgia. So yeah, a lot has changed. But anyway, what I want to talk about in this video is you know, the last six months of working at Walmart. I started set, uh, six months ago as of today. Ignore that bird, that's just a parrot. Yeah, she's gonna keep doing that. Anyway, uh, so yeah, it's been, it's been a good six months. Um, sure, some things were kind of stressful. Um, mainly the, you know, the first two months really were the the hardest, be I mean, because, you know, I was still trying to figure out things, and, you know, because it was the holidays, I, we had a lot of stuff coming off the truck. We usually, we had quite a few days where we had two trucks, but then again, it wasn't that, otherwise, it wasn't that bad because we had plenty of unloaders, like, we usually, like, had eight or nine each day, something like that. I mean, it wasn't wasn't short like we are now. Now, now on a good day, we'll have like maybe five. But today, three of us. Um, you know, we've, we've lost, we've, we've lost quite a few in the past few months. Um, they've either quit or moved. Like two of them were, you know, they're cool. They, yeah, I'm, uh, well, Okay, let's see. Let's, let me talk about the unloaders. Let's see. There was one guy I was, you know, there was okay, there two guys that I, no, three guys that started, like, when I started. Uh, there was Chris, Jake, and Adam. Uh, Chris was, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I don't know how to describe. I'm really bad at describing people. Anyway, well, no, yeah, he, no, he was all right. He was a, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, he, but he like, he left right around the middle of March because he, he, he moved to Walmart in Florida. Uh, and then, and then it was Jake. He actually, you know, he left. He just, he just like disappear you just stop coming like after about three weeks and yeah. I mean he was a cool guy you know yeah. but anyway you know the only the only new guy that the only guy that came the only guy that left that came the same time I did Adam you know, he's still here um, he's a quiet guy um, he's like what 28 He's, he's pretty, like, yeah, he, I don't know, yeah, he's, you know, while the rest of us are usually goofing around or, you know, joking around, he's pretty much serious about everything for the most part. <laughs> uh, see, I, I joke around a lot. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we're cool, you know. Sometimes you'll, he's pretty much, I, you could say this is kind of a catchphrase now. <laughs> it, it was like, Shut up, Cody. <laughs> yeah, because you know I get on people's nerves sometimes. I joke around, but you know we're cool though. Uh, yeah, he's a cool guy. He's motivated. You know, he's someone you can talk to. He's a nice guy. Anyway, uh, let's see. There's, but then there's other unloaders who were already there before. Uh, there was Steven which, uh, as the time grew by, I despised him more and more. We were, we became, we were enemies, because he was, he was a dick. <laughs> he was a dick to me, mainly. I, he was all right, maybe the first two, the first two weeks he was all right. Uh, I thought, he had, he had, had this really weird habit of, well, I wouldn't say it was a habit, more like a, he'd be in a good mood one second, you know, being this crazy, goofy, happy self. I make a joke, 
something, he'd get all pissed off. I, why are you leaving Dave Hill alone? Shut the hell up. You're pissing me off. But often, usually what happened, he usually would make a smart comment at me or something, you know? And apparently he, he had no problem dishing it out, but he couldn't take it. I, mean, I don't know, that's, okay, that didn't come out right. Anyway, you know, he, I don't know, he just, he thought he could, he could be a douche to someone, but it couldn't be vice versa. You know, we, we never did, we, um, I remember January, he, um, Oh yeah, no, it was his day off. I sent him a friend request on Facebook. You know, see, for a while, I thought he was just simply crazy. You know, I thought, you know, I saw it. I know he's a, maybe he's just a little crazy, but I mean, still trying to be friends with him, I guess. It was, it was in January. I sent him a friend request on Facebook. Uh, his, sent me a message after, you know, after I sent him a referral request, he sent me a message saying, why don't you leave me to be hell along? Yeah, he misspelled alone. Yeah, I thought it was funny. I posted that on Facebook, actually. I screenshotted that. But, you know, people got butt hurt and reported it, and for an entire day I was blocked from posting stuff on Facebook. And for, for a Facebook addict like myself, that's like an eternity. I got a post. See, I wasn't able to post or comment or do anything like that. That was a pain in the ass. So, yeah. It was all thanks to Steven. Well, well, wait. You know, Steve, I just, yeah, we never got along. Uh, okay, so he had, he didn't really, he had this delusion where he had this thing, he thought he was, he thought he was better than the rest of the uploaders. He thought he worked hard. He thought, he liked to talk crap about me. Like, he, he would say that I'm barely doing anything, you know, that he's doing all the work, which really was a load of crap. And you can ask any, any of the unloaders, other unloaders, you know, he, I, I work hard. Yes, I miss a few food items sometimes. I mainly, you know, what I usually do is I get food. You know, the departments, I, you know, some people, someone might throw the truck, another person might do brake packs, you know, there'll be a few people doing different, a few different departments. And usually I would be um, getting food off the line, you know, putting them on pallets, sorting them. Um, anyway. You know, sometimes I would, you know, being human, sometimes I would probably miss a few food items, you know, especially on a truck where there's a lot of food. And often he he would be like, hey, you want to get this stuff off the line? Don't mess. Yeah, he, but more often than not, he was usually standing around. Sometimes he'd play with his phone or something, you know. And anyway, I'm, you know, a lot of the other coworkers actually suspected that maybe he was on some kind of drugs. Some, you know, some people say it's meth. I think it was just cocaine or crack or something. I mean, he doesn't look like someone who's on meth, but you know, what do I know? Anyway, but, um, he actually, he finally quit, though, um, a few weeks ago. Got a job at Domino's, and that was the happiest day of my life. I mean, I feel bad for Domino's now, because now he's their problem, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, moving on. There's a guy named Zach. Now, he's a cool guy. Um, he's funny, you know. He's kind of a, he's kind of like a real life cartoon character, you know. 
he has catchphrases like "You pace!" like when he's mad, when something happens, and he gets mad. He's like "You pace!" or he has like there's one that's a catchphrase that goes "You gotta risk it to get the biscuit," or or sometimes you know I'll say something funny or whatever, and he'll be like "What?" Wait, "What?" Or, oh god, it's all over the walls. You know, off, you know, sometimes like when, like something spills or breaks, he'd be like, it's all over the walls. Yeah, he's a funny guy. He's cool though. Yeah, he. Yeah, he he really makes things entertain entertaining for the rest of us. Like he's he's making up crazy stories. You know, like. What, he, he claims that he dated Selena Gomez for a day, and, you know, he, you know, it's whatever, he's, yeah, he's a cool guy, um, he's, yeah, he, um, let's see, so he's, yeah, he's working today, today, tomorrow, Saturday. See, uh, okay, I will, I'll tell you my schedule. Um, for a while, it was kind of random, like, and I'd have to check it every week because it was different each week. But they had, they finally have it, had it set a few weeks, a few weeks ago, where I have Sundays and Mondays off, and I work uh, Tuesday through Saturday. So today's my hump day. Um, yeah. Anyway, recent about a month ago, we got a rate. Well, they they raised the minimum wage there, so instead of like seven sixty five, it's now nine dollars an hour. Um, so I'm making a little bit more. So now I can, you know, buy a decent amount of food and still save up for the things I want. Because you know, for a while I haven't really been saving up for anything I wanted yet. I mean, I'd mainly been buying food and you know. But now, see the very next thing I'm saving up for will be a new 24 millimeter lens, uh, Sigma 1.4. It's a wide aperture. It'll be, um, it's so it's you know it's kind of like the lens that's shooting this video now, but it's wider angle. Um, this lens right here is a 35 millimeter, but because it's on my my camera is a crop sensor, so it's about equivalent to 50 millimeter on a full frame camera. And the camera that I'm getting later on this year, D750, it'll be full frame. So, you know, 24 millimeter, that'll be very, that'll be perfect wide angle. And, you know, I mean, it'll be somewhat wide angle on this camera. I mean, I'm like, you know, I'm getting that lens first, so I'll be using it on this camera for, you know, until like September. I'm, you know, right now that's the plan to get it in September, the camera. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, I, so I'll probably do another video um, six months from now. You know, it'll be like a year anniversary thing. You know. Anyway, it will it'll be really cool, and because it'll be fall, you know, the sky will be nice and blue. Got the fall colors. Um, yeah, that's gonna be epic. It was, you know, uh, whatever. Anyway, so yeah, um, there's a guy named let's see who else. There's a guy named Rylan. <laughs> last name's Moody. So sometimes I joke and say, "Don't be all moody, man." <laughs> you know, I mean, normally, you know, he's a pretty, you know, he's, he's in a pretty good mood. You know, he usually what pisses him off is you know when he's throwing the truck and. People aren't pushing the line down fast enough. I mean, you know, I like see. Uh, sometimes I have a lot of food in the line. Like depends on the truck. Sometimes, uh, sometimes a lot of food in the line, and I'm having to get I'm trying to get stuff off as fast as I can, so I'm not able to push it down. Always, I can only do it when I get the chance. But, you know, he he does get kind of impatient with that. I mean, otherwise, you know, he's a cool guy. He's he's a big video game guy. He usually has his DS, his 3DS, and he's playing 
Monster Hunters or something. And he's a and he's a fairly big fan of Pokemon. He'll he'll usually start having a big conversation with you know one of you know, the other in, unloaders, you know, about a video game or some fictional character. And I'll be like, what? Because <laughs> I, you know, it's like like a different language to me. Um, anyway, yeah, he's a he's a cool guy. Um, sometimes he kind of makes smart comments, but not in the way that Steven did. Anyway, then there's another guy, the meal. He's a cool guy. He's he has a pretty good sense of humor. I mean, he doesn't really—he doesn't so much joke around himself, but you know, he does. He's kind of the. What do, I don't know how to describe. Uh, he's. I don't know. Oh, uh, he's a. Whatever. He's a cool guy. He's. Yeah. Um. He. He finds Zach as funny as I do. <laughs> anyway, you know he. Whatever. Who else is there? Uh, there, there used to be used to have Amy. Uh, she, she left at the very end of February. Um, she, she, she usually did break packs. She was pregnant, um, so that's kind of why she always did break packs for the most part. Um, you know, she moved to Texas. She's, now she's working at that Walmart with her husband Mac. Mac also worked at Walmart, but he worked uh, stocking pets, or, you know, stocking grocery, but, well, it was usually pets. Um, and that's usually what I, often at night, that's what, that's what I usually do, like, you know, after all the freight's taken out and all that, you know, if I don't get the pick, then I'm usually throwing dog food, and, you know, it's, I can't say I like that too much bag of dog food. I'd rather pick. I, I like being with the other unloaders, you know? Kind of separated. But I mean, you know, I don't know. I just, I'm not a big fan of doing bag of dog food. Especially if there's like, you know, eight pallets and I have like two hours. I mean, and I'm talking about eight big pallets. You know, and it's all, it's all, it's all mixed, you know, different types of dog food and there's cat food mixed in there and sometimes they stick freaking bird seed in there bird seed does not go anywhere near there bird seed is way in the garden center at the other corner of the store so you know it's just a stupid they couldn't just i mean sometimes sometimes we get a lot of it and i'm just like dude put it on a pallet on a separate pallet god oh whatever anyway okay we did we did have, um, we did have a new guy actually, who started, who had started a couple, a few weeks ago. His name was David, but you know he. After last week, he, you know, he, it was it was because of the night shift manager Adam. Now he, he took over James. I mean, James used to be the one of the night shift managers. James and Andrew, like they alternate you know, four days of each. Um, well, you know, James went to get a job at Dollar General, so Adam, who was day shift, I mean, you know, he became night shift manager. Um, you know, and I mean, I get, he, he's, he, he's a cool guy, you know, if he's in a good mood, but if, he's in a, if, he, if things aren't going well, he's a guy that I, I fear. <laughs> he kind of, he has a tendency to yell. So yeah, I'm, you know, whatever. Uh, anyway, and, uh, and then there was another guy named Doug. Um, he he left after Saturday, last Saturday. He just last Saturday he just disappeared. He he had heard that he was gonna be in trouble because you know he had like been coming in late from lunch a few times, you know, you know, and I get, I don't really know why exactly he disappeared. I mean, he was a cool guy. I, he was a good unloader. I mean, we all liked him, but you know, gonna miss him. And also now we really need new unloaders, you know? Yeah.
All right, well, I need to start wrapping this up. There are several things that I plan on, you know, buying, you know, saving up for. Oh, one more thing before I get there. And we also have a supervisor who actually works with us. His name is Hunter. Uh, he's a cool dude. So, yeah, he, he has uh, Saturdays and Tuesdays off. So, the other days of the week, I mean, he... I mean, he really helps a lot. I mean, he's the hard, he's the hardest worker we got. I mean, usually, I usually tease him about his love for Red Bulls, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, whatever. Yeah, he's... So, anyway. Um, <sighs> you know, the one, I love where I work. I love my job. Um. I like being able to buy food, you know, not have to go somewhere else to get food, you know, and also during my lunch break, you know, if I have money, I don't have to drive anywhere, which is good because I still can't drive. Um, you know, there, there's quite a few places to walk, there are three places to walk to right now outside the store. Subway, no, no, Subway's in the store. Okay, no, Taco Bell, Chick-fil-A, Cat and D's. Um, some of the, someday I'm going to have, I don't know. <laughs> I want to have Cat and D's someday. Eh, really, right now, what's holding me back is the money. I'm trying to save up for things. And I blow enough money on junk food and all that stuff because, well, let's face it, I like to eat. Anyway, I'm not going to get too much into detail about my bell, the stuff I'm saving up for. You know, I'll just simply mention. Oh, what's going on with my eye? I'll be getting, you know, new camera, new lenses, and new laptop eventually a car and right now I see myself working through the summer of 2017 and then after that I want to go back to college now initially for a little while it was I wanted to quit uh, at the beginning of 2017 but you know I want to make sure I can save up for college you know be prepared completely I gotta pay off my credit card bill credit card and all that you know whatever anyway I gotta go finish getting ready for work, like put on shoes, uh, put on my vest. I, don't, I almost, I almost, I thought about wearing it out here for the video, but it's a little too warm for that. It's like 80, I think it's 82 degrees out now. And you know, sun's pretty strong right now. So yeah. Well, that's a wrap. Yeah. It's been great. Um, I'll talk to you in another six months. I mean, I might make another video between them, like something unrelated. I don't know. Whatever. That's it.